Number 30. The annual production of HNO3 in 2013 was 60 million metric tons. No punctuation. So let's just throw that in there. Okay. We are now editors. Okay, so <laughs> most of that was prepared by the following sequences of reactions, each run in a separate reaction vessel. And then they give us three distinct um, balanced equations. I know that they're balanced because I see coefficients already being thrown up on here, so I'm going to assume that all these are uh, balanced. And at the end of the day, we do produce out the HNO3 that they were talking about, that we produced 60 million metric tons. Now, the first reaction is run by burning ammonia in air over a platinum catalyst. This reaction is fast. The reaction in equation C is also fast. <laughs> the second reaction limits the rate at which nitric acid can be prepared from ammonia. If equation B, so that's important, if equation B is second order in NO and first order in O2, what is the rate of formation of NO2 when the oxygen concentration is 0 0.50 molarity and the nitric oxide concentration is 0 0.75 molarity? And the rate constant for the reaction is 5.8 times 10 to the negative sixth liters squared uh, per mole squared per second. Okay, so let's get down to business, shall we? Uh, a lot of words here, right? For basically just the last part of the, of the question is the most important part. All of these equations that are fast um, doesn't really limit the rate. So we can't really get any information on them. So we don't care about reaction A, and we don't care about reaction C, because they did state that both of them were very fast. Now, reaction B is basically what we are using to find the answer to the question. Now, it seems like they're describing a generalized rate law, where they're describing the orders of the reactants, and they definitely told us a rate constant. A rate constant is a K value, lowercase K. Uppercase K is Christina, not Kelvin. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so the rate constant, lowercase K, is 5.8 times 10 to the negative sixth, and liter squared per mole squared is the same thing as molarity to the minus two. You have two for each liter and mole, and it seems like the molarity units are flipped on its head, right? Generally speaking, molarity is mole over liter, but now this is liter over mole. So it doesn't matter what units you'll see for K, right? Uh, just know that, you know, you could see different units and they would mean the same exact thing. Now, at the end of the day, we want to find out what is the rate of formation. So we're looking for the rate. Now, if they're asking for a rate and they're, they're giving you a rate constant, that's enough pieces of information to know what formula we're using. And in this case, we're going to be using the generalized rate law formula, which is this right here. Rate equals K, that's the rate constant, times the concentration of the reactants raised to their orders. And we're only caring about equation two. So the reactants, remember, the reactants are the left side of the equation. So my reactants are NO and O2. Nobody cares about O2. Uh, sorry, nobody cares about NO2 because that's not one of the reactants. That's a product. So now let's see. Let's make a more specific rate law for our needs. Rate equals K. We know that we're going to throw in that K value when we start doing the math. But now we have two reactants. We have uh, one bracket and then two brackets. So we have NO as one reactant and we have O2. Now, just know that they gave us information about what the orders are for our reactants. They said that it was second order in regards to NO. Second order means that NO should have a 2 in the upper right-hand corner of it, right? So NO is raised to the second. And then O2 is first order. 
So what number do you think would be right next to the O2 in the upper right-hand corner or as the exponent? Yeah, you got it. One. Anything, though, raised to the first is its own number. So technically, we don't really need to show the one there. Um, but now, hey, here we go. We have our own specific rate law. Now let's just plug in the numbers. We want to solve for that rate. So rate equals the k value, 5.8 times 10 to the negative 6th. And now I have my two concentrations. And just know that if you have multiple reactants like we do, they are multiplied by each other with their exponents. So not added. NO, they told us that, let's see. They said that the nitric oxide concentration, that's the NO. So the nitric oxide was the 0.75 molarity. And they said that the oxygen concentration, that's the O2, that's 0.50 molarity. So we have 0.75 and 0.5. So for NO and O2, and just be careful, the NO has to be squared because they said that the NO was second order. And now we could just plug all this into good old trusty calci. 5.8 times 10 to the negative sixth times 0.75. We can square that. Now, if I want to come back down, back down to reality, <laughs> um, all you got to do is just press this little like right uh, click right there and it brings you down. And then now we're just going to multiply by 0.5. You could have um, multiplied this together, get one number, and then times it by this. Doesn't matter. Calc, will understand what we're doing. And I press enter. And let's see, I just want to make sure that I put, put in all my units, my numbers correctly. That looks good to me. So um, I think two sig figs. So we'll say 1.6. Ooh. 1.6 times 10 to the negative sixth. And now just know that any rate is generally a unit of molarity over a unit of time. It's the change in molarity over change in time. Now it's definitely mol molarity because all the concentrations they gave you were molarity. And now just look for the rate constant to see which unit is the time unit. There's an S here. That means seconds. So this, the rate would be molarity per seconds. So sometimes they might give you the K value in minutes. So then it'd be molarity per minute or hours. So just always double check. And that's the answer for this one. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to help us out. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. It's nuts, absolutely nuts. And yeah, I mean, it wouldn't happen because of you guys wouldn't happen. Yeah. I mean, you guys are making the channel what it is. We just put out the videos, but you guys, you know, watch them and learn from them. So thank you so, so much. You guys rock. And I hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks for all your support. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.